Hi everyone! Today's video is one of my absolute favorite videos to film, but it's also one of the hardest to film and one of the ones that people don't like to see. But that's okay. I like to see them. They're some of my favorite videos and it is my makeup inventory. So last night, it took me probably about an hour and a half, maybe not that long, I don't know, it took me quite a while, and I counted every single makeup item I own, every single one. And before that, I I put it all on my spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet that includes 2015, 2016, I believe that was like January of both of those months, I'm not really sure, um, January of 2017. July of 2017 and now January of 2018. So I've been doing a makeup inventory for quite a while and it kind of is interesting to see how your makeup collection grows and shrinks, mainly grows for me. Now, when I did my one in July, I had these goals, these makeup use up goals. And it was like, all of these, I only wanna have like five blushes and stuff. And I just realized like that's not, it's not really me. I don't, I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on makeup. That's the big thing. I've spent a ton of money on this collection, and I know that. And I want to peter out the num the amount of money I've spent. But I don't necessarily want to peter out my numbers. I mean, I do in some respects. Like, y'all will see some of these numbers are just absolutely ridiculous. But I don't in the sense of, like, if you watch my hauls, which I'll link my whole haul playlist down below in case you want to see, I get, I'm all about like redeeming my points and getting the $25 coupon and a lot of that is like lip products. So I don't want to like feel bad about getting free makeup and I'm not there. I probably won't ever get there and that's okay. You know, um, but if I ever get contacted by like a brand, I don't want to be like, sorry, I can't get free makeup because of my inventory numbers. No, like if I could do that, then that would be freaking awesome because then that means that's less money I had to spend. So really for me. The whole reason of keeping track is just because I think it's interesting. It helps me when I do go to sh buy something. It's like, girl, you have 85,000 blushes. You don't need another one. Things like that. But it also just, I just think it's interesting. So hopefully you like it. And I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I do want to clarify, if you watch other videos like um, my makeup use up for 2018, those goals, I'll link that below in case you want to see it. Um, then you might know I count everything as a product. So... For example, this little foundation foil packet, that's counting as one product. These little two card things, one and two. So I do that because it does kind of, I guess, inflate my numbers, but it just, it helps me be like, it helps motivate me to be like, girl, use up those little foil packets. You don't need that anymore and stuff like that. So that's what I do. Um, I feel like it gives me a very realistic number that of what I have. I also have said before, I don't do a lot of individual numbers. Like for my blushes, that includes my cream blushes, my blushes and palettes, and my single blushes. So again, just for example, like this Lorac cheek palette, I have done a full review of this just because I haven't pulled it out. I'll, I'll link that review below. I'll link my whole product review playlist because you can see a lot of what I have in there. Um, and this is four different blushes, so things like that. So that's just how I do it. I feel like it, this is what gives me the most realistic numbers and what helps me the most. So, for face primers, I'm going to give you three numbers. What I had last time, which was seven face primers in G uh, July of 2018. July of 2017, I had seven mm -hmm. face primers. Currently, I have 12, which is the most I've ever had. And then, so I'll give you four numbers, I'm sorry. The least I ever had was four face primers, and I had that in January of 2017. So I've definitely grown in my face primers. For foundations, you just saw, I'm just going to show you. Again, I count all of these. I'm not, like, trying to make an excuse. Oops. I have a bunch of foil packets of foundations. I really need to get these out. But for foundations, I currently have 34 in, oh, come back. <laughs> Sorry, my, my screen went black. My computer's right here. In July of 2017, I had 18. The most I've ever had is 34, which is what I have now. And the least I've ever had was in 2016, I had 14. Next for BB creams, I only have three. In July of 2017, I had five. And the most I ever had was six, which was in 2015. And the least I've ever had was Three, which I have now, and I also had in January of 2017. So I'm doing really good on BB cream, so, you know, 
We'll take it where we can get it. You're going to see that's not a very common trend. That's okay. Um, for concealers. Now, I will say, um, one of the reasons why I got a lot more is because of this concealer palette. But I'm not complaining. I got this in a boxy charm, and I love it. Um, but in July of 2017, I had 24. Currently, I have 26, which is the most I've ever had. The least I've ever had is 11. And I had that in... 2016 in January of 2017 so I've definitely grown powders this has gone up tremendously um, and one of the reasons why is because I kind of re I don't know the right word reclassified I guess some items so like this is my IBY highlight and contour palette I got this in a boxy charm as well and in my last one, I said, okay, these are three highlighters and these are three contours. But let's be honest, I'm not going to use these as highlighters. What I'm going to use these as is face powders. And I know that because I've been using like a banana powder as a face powder a lot. So instead of counting these as highlighters, I counted these as powders. So my highlighters has gone down and my powders has gone up. So just to clarify. So in July of 2017, I had 15. As of right now, I have 27. The least I've, which is the most I've ever had. And the least I've ever had is in 2015, I had 10. So there we go. For blush, in July of 2017, I had 71. 71. All right. In January of 2018, so right now, I have 75. So I went up by four blushes, which is just the best. And that's the most I've ever had. 75 blushes is a little much. Like, let's be honest. That's a little ridiculous. Especially because, like, even when I'm panning right now, I'm panning quite, like, a few blushes or, like, palettes that have blushes in it. And a lot of them look very similar. So that's definitely something that I need to kind of consider before I buy more. And I really need to use some up. Because I do pan, if you don't know. I love project panning. I'll link it below. I have a whole playlist. I do a lot of pans. And I really think it's important to get through things. And this makeup inventory is one of the reasons why I've decided... That instead of just worrying about hitting pan on products, I want to fully use things up. Because hitting pan is not getting your money's worth, in my opinion. I know a lot of people feel like it is. Cool. Good for you. For me, I feel like I want to use something up completely, and then I've gotten my money's worth out of it. So, 75 is the most I've ever had. The least I ever had was in 2015, which was three years ago. I mean, you know. And then, then I had 26, which was still a lot. 26 blushes was a lot. It's okay. We're, we're going to, we're okay. For bronzers, um, in July of 2017, I had 29. As of today, I have 30. So I went up by one. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 30 is the most I've ever had, and the least I've ever had is 14, which again was in 2015. Um, it's kind of funny because you can definitely see in my spreadsheet that in general, it just keeps going up every single time. But that's okay. It's okay. For highlighter, again, I did re like reclassify some highlighters, so that could be part of the reason why you'll see these numbers. In July of 2017, I had 46. I currently have 49, so I still went up by three, but I think I probably went up by more than three. And 49 is the most I've ever had, but the, and the least I've ever had is 12, which was in 2015. For eye primers, so these are not colored cream eyeshadows. These are like, you know, your primer potion. This is like a, an eye primer. Um, just things like that. Glitter glue. Things that don't have like add color. They just are like kind of nude. Um, in July of 2017, I had eight. I currently have 10. And the least I've ever had was three, which again was in 2015. One of the reasons I knew no, I got, I went up on that is because I have a bunch of little foil packets of these guys, which I know I could use up pretty quickly. For cream eyeshadows, in July of 2017, I had 41. Currently, I have 49, which is a lot, um, which is the most I've ever had, and the least I've ever had was 23, which I had in 2015. So I think one of the reasons, again, I'm not trying to like justify it, but... Um, I did get three shimmering glows. I am counting the shimmering glows as cream eyeshadows. The glittering glows are as pigments slash glitters, which we'll get to later. I also got the Elsa and Anna Mally Beauty sets, which had a lot of cream eyeshadows. So there you go. For pigments and glitters, 
again, this is where the Stila Glitter and Glows come into play, and you'll see that. In July of 2017, I had 33. And that had already grown a lot because I had discovered Geek Chic Cosmetics, which I love. As of today, I have 46, so that's grown a lot. 46 is the most I've ever had. And um, the least I've ever had is 11, which I had in 2015. For single eyeshadows. So eyeshadows are just one, you know, one to a pale. These guys that aren't pigments. Pigments are different, but just little single eyeshadows. Last time I had 46 in July. Oops. Oh, oh no. Sorry. My, uh, my lipstick fell on the ground. It's Little Rock True Beauty, in case you were wondering. Um, last time I had 46. Today I have 54, which is the most I've ever had. And... The least I've ever had is 17, which I had in 2015. So, again, we're not doing so hot with the single eyeshadows. For gel slash liquid eyeliners, I bought a lot of glitter liners because, like, these guys are so cool. I think they add so much and they're beautiful. So, you know, there's a, that's a thing. Uh, in July, I had 17. Now I have 20 which is the most I've ever had. And the least I've ever had is nine, which I had in 2015 and 2016. So I was keeping it all, like keeping it continuous and then I went up. For mascara. Last time I had 22, now I have 28. However, I will like to mention I only have three open. So my mascara drawer has a bunch in the back that are kind of just shoved back there that I haven't even touched yet. So that's not bad. Like having three open is not that big of a deal to me. And you'll get free mascaras a lot with orders and stuff. So I'm just saying that. Um, the least I've ever had was 20, which I actually had in January of 2017. And the most I ever had is 28, which I have right now. But again, only three open. So I'm okay with that. Four eyeliners. So these are just pencil eyeliners. In July, I had 54. And now I have 55. So I only went up by one. That's okay. 55. Like, going up by one is not bad. But still, when you think, I have 55 eyeliners. That is kind of bad. Especially because, I don't know. Like, let me, just, let me just show you. This many eyeliners. These are my blacks and browns. So I can't even be like, yeah, I have 55. But there are a lot of different colors. Yeah, okay. So 55, which is the most I've ever had. And the least I ever had was 40, which is still a lot, which was in 2014. I'm using 2015. So next we have eyebrow products, which I didn't start counting until 2016. I cur uh, In July, I had 15. Now I have 16. And again, I talk about it a lot. I'm just trying to, you know, show you why some of these things happen. Um... I do have two of these guys. One of them has only got one left. These are like dip brow pomade samples. This one only has one. This one's got three or four left. So things like that does, you know, add to it. The least I've ever had is four, which I had in January of 2017. So that means I grew by 12 in one year. That's a lot. That's a lot. For eye palettes. So in... July of 2017, I had 54, and in now I have 64, so I gained 10 eye palettes in six months, which is kind of ridiculous. I love eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is my favorite, but that's a lot. Um, the least I ever had was 34, which was in 2015, and the thing about that, in 2015, 2016, and January of 2017, I included my duo trios and quads in my eye palettes. Now my eye palettes are five and above, and I still have a lot more. So, that's a thing. So, like I said last time, July 2017 was the first time I started counting duos, trios, and quads separately. Um, last time I had 29, and now I have 32. So, there you go. So, for the actual number of eyeshadows, which means if you take duos, trios, quads, and palettes, so anything that has more than one, and you count. So, Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. We've got 20 eyeshadows in there. If you count each individual eyeshadow. Last time I had 930, which I don't think is correct. And that's why 
I count every single time instead of just being like, oh, plus one, minus one. I mean, I could easily do that in the spreadsheet, but I count every single time in case I have something wrong. And I'm pretty sure that's wrong because this time I counted twice and I have 960, which is still a lot, don't get me wrong. But that means by buying 10 palettes, I only grew by 30 shadows, which doesn't seem realistic because I haven't used up that many eyes. I've only used up one eyeshadow. So I don't think that's right. Um, but I did count twice, so I definitely have 960 right now. The least I've ever had was in 2015, of course, and at that time I had 163. <coughs> Next for lip treatments. So for this, it's pretty much just like lip balms, but then I have like um, one of the Smashbox Insta Matte things. Things that are just kind of like, I don't really know where else to put them, if we're being honest. Um, last time I had 10, and now I have 16. And the least I've ever had was 10, which again I had in July of 2017 and 2016 as well. So there we go. For lip liners, I love a lip liner. I've really been enjoying them. Last time I had eight and now I have eight, so I stayed the same. And eight doesn't seem ridiculous to me, honestly. Maybe it does to some people, but to me that doesn't seem like that much. And the least I've ever had was two, which I had in 2015. For lip glosses. This does seem ridiculous. Last time I had 89, and now I have 93. So I went up by four. Again, I do get a lot of, most of my lip glosses, well, okay, I bought them if they're in a Disney collection. I'm just going to claim that. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to lie. But a lot of them do come for free with, like, with, you know, palette purchases, or with purchases. So, I mean, that's kind of not so bad, right? It's still bad, I know. Um, the least I've ever had, 93 is the most I've ever had. And the least I've ever had was 51 which I had in 2016 and in 2017. So that meant in a year, I didn't gain any, or I had like a net gain of zero. So, you know, I can do it. I just haven't been recently. And again, 93 is a lot. Like a lot of, some of these numbers, like I said, like eight lip liners doesn't seem ridiculous to me. It really doesn't. But 93 lip glosses does. That seems pretty, pretty bad. For lipsticks, and this does count like liquid lipsticks, and tinted lip balm so what I did was for lip gloss it's like okay if I would put it over something for lipsticks it's like if I would just put it under if I would be like the only thing I wore or like if I would put it under something if that makes sense um last time I had 159 and now I have 199 that's a net increase of 40 cool that's a lot in six months uh, 199 is the most I've ever had. I don't want to hit 200. That just seems stupid. Um, and the least I've ever had was 70, which I had in 2015. Um, this is a good one. Nail polish. So this includes base coats and top coats and everything, just nail polish in general. Last time I had 151. And currently I have 145. So I went down and actually 145 nail polishes is the least I've ever had. So I've really gone down. I'm really excited about that. I, I think that's good. The most I've ever had was actually in 2015 and I had 152. So I definitely have been decreasing my nail polishes, which is nice. Like I said, I don't necessarily want to be like always using up and using up and getting smaller and smaller. But like if I could have like one or two less every single time, like if I had two less lip glosses, I would still have 91 lip glosses. I would have plenty of options. I don't want to limit myself to where it's like, oh, I don't have any options. But I don't want to feel like, I don't feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed is dramatic. I really don't. I love looking at my makeup. It makes me happy. But I don't want to feel like I just have so much. You know what I mean? Like I have so much that it's like almost embarrassing. And I do want to be able to get my money's worth out of them. And I just yesterday posted a video about decluttering and how I don't do that. And I'll link it below if you want to see it. Um, I, it's just how I feel. I know some people really did not receive that well. And some people were like, okay, girl, I get you. It's just my honest opinions about it. So there you go. You can take that for what it's worth. Um, I don't want to declutter, but I do want to get my makeup, my money's worth. And yeah, I would rather throw something away when it went bad than declutter it and miss it or declutter it and feel like, and I don't really have anything I need to declutter it with. I talked about it yesterday, but I still want to be able to get my money's worth out of it and really use things. And let's be honest, 960 eyeshadows, I can use one a day 
and still not have enough. I'd have to use like four separate eyeshadows a day to use it once a year. That's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, that was a little bit of a tangent. I was on nail polish. Sorry. Setting sprays. I didn't start counting those until 2016. Just so you know. In July of 2017, I had five and I currently have seven. I like setting sprays. I don't feel like seven's a ridiculous amount. I really don't. Um, but it is the most I've ever had. The least I've ever had was one, which I had in 2016 and January of 2017. Four body sprays. Um, so these are not perfumes. These are like the, you know, the body sprays, which I don't really love. I could have zero of those and probably be okay with that. Um, for July of 2017, I had 15, and I currently have 12, which means I have gone down. The least I've ever had is actually 11, which I had in January of 2017. But I'm still growing down, which makes me happy. That's the goal for body sprays. I don't really need those. <coughs> for perfumes, and these do include the little samplers, so I don't really care that much, if we're being honest. In July of 2017, I had 31, and I currently have 40. So I have gone up, um, but again, that's not that bad to me because a lot of those are sa like little perfume samples. Um, I didn't start counting that until January of 2017, and in January and July, I had 31. Um, something I didn't start counting until last time, so July of 2017, is the number of items I have with Pan, which just shows if I'm using stuff. I don't necessarily want to have more and more items with Pan every single time because that means I'm just hitting Pan and not actually using it up, but I just thought it'd be interesting. So last time I had 8, and this time I have 13, so I've gone up. And I did decide to add one more item and this is based on my makeup uh list so i have a list of every single makeup item i own and it, it goes by the individual pan and that's what i use for when i do my entire makeup collection rolling project pan which is my favorite project pan oh i like i said i'm already gonna link my project pan playlist down below i really love that project pan it's so much fun um so how many numbers how many items are on that list and this is the first time I'm doing this. And currently there are 1,994, which is a lot. So again, I'm not necessarily trying to be, I'm definitely not trying to be a minimalist. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I want to use up more. I want to have less and less and less. I don't necessarily want to have less. I just want to spend less and use up more, if that makes sense. So like I said, I, I'm very aware. I'm not a big YouTuber and I'm okay with it. I'm a scientist. If you don't know, I'm a marine biologist and I love what I do. I'm not trying to do YouTube to make money and make a living. I just enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think makeup's a lot of fun and I love that. Um, but I don't want, like if I could possibly be like, if people started wanting to send me makeup, which would be amazing, then I don't want to feel like, oh, I can't take that because it'd be free. And sorry, I, don't, I feel like people don't like talking about that, but that's what it is. It's free makeup. Why would you say no? Unless it was like sketchy, I get that. But like in general, why would you say no? I'm not gonna say no. But I just want to spend less and use up more. Those are my two goals. So um, I hope this was enjoyable. I know it was long and I know I didn't really show you any products, but I think it's a lot of fun. I love watching these videos, so I hope you do too. As always, please leave me any questions, requests, suggestions, comments down below. I love speaking with y'all. It's one of my all time favorite things. I really mean that. So feel free to comment whatever you'd like. And you know, like I always say, I want to make videos you want to see. I have a couple a couple of things on a list of videos that I've gotten requested, and you're not being ignored. I just have a quite a few things that I already had on a list, so it's all coming. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.